With only 24 hours before Judge Brett Kavanaugh and Dr. Christine Blasey Ford face lawmakers and the country, President Trump is fighting for his candidate in classic Trump fashion. This is a con game being played by the Democrats. He's lashing out, directly targeting the latest accuser, Kavanaugh's Yale classmate Deborah Ramirez. She said she was totally inebriated and she was all messed up and she doesn't know it was him, but it might have been him. Oh, gee, let's not make him a Supreme Court judge because of that. Ramirez acknowledged to the New Yorker magazine that she was drunk at a 1982 party where she says Kavanaugh exposed himself close to her face. And she says there are gaps in her memory. But now she says she's certain it was Kavanaugh. He denies the charge. Democrats on Capitol Hill calling for an FBI investigation and other witnesses to appear on Thursday. What this should be is a search for the truth. Adding to their outrage, word that Republicans on the Senate Judiciary Committee, all of whom are men, outsourced the questioning for Thursday's hearing to a woman outside counsel. Clearly they didn't want to ask the questions directly. The lawyer who will be doing the questioning, veteran Arizona sex crimes prosecutor Rachel Mitchell. I, I think it's really smart of them to get an outside counsel. Why? Uh, somebody will do something that you guys will run 24-7 and, you know, uh, in, inadvertently somebody will do something that's insensitive. Um, uh, I would not be wanting to ask questions about something like this. The stakes are high for both parties being questioned. Dr. Blasey Ford is now a clinical psychology professor at Palo Alto University and an expert on topics involving trauma. Kavanaugh, a Yale Law graduate who clerked for Justice Anthony Kennedy before serving in the Bush administration and as a federal judge. In an attempt to prove he wasn't at that party with Blasey Ford, Kavanaugh's lawyers are releasing excerpts of his high school calendar to the Judiciary Committee, details from the summer of 1982. Obtained by USA Today, they show chores, trips out of town, and social events. Blasey Ford's name isn't mentioned, but she has said she didn't know Kavanaugh well at the time of the alleged encounter. A source close to Kavanaugh says the judge is anticipating more probing questions than those he fielded in his Fox News interview. Was there ever a time that you drank so much that you couldn't remember what happened the night before? No, uh, that never happened. Democrats may ask about Kavanaugh's high school yearbook page, which is filled with inside jokes that suggest a less straight-laced life than he's claimed, including 100 kegs or bust and Renata alumnus, an alleged reference to a woman Kavanaugh knew in high school. A source tells ABC News she was Kavanaugh's date for a school dance, nothing more. But the New York Times reports that some of Kavanaugh's former classmates said it was part of unsubstantiated boasting about their conquests. That woman telling the Times the insinuation is horrible, hurtful, and simply untrue. Those yearbook entries, along with the recent allegations, portray a vastly different image than what Kavanaugh has publicly shared. For the last seven years, I've been coaching girls basketball. Ask the moms.